Hi guys, it's Ona. Today is Saturday, January 30th, um, early in the morning, and I want to do this video uh, before I get another major headache today. I got Jibs with me because he, uh, he'll start crying. So um, I want to start with the thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the names on the full moon candle back there. Um, I really appreciate it and it's, it really, really means the world to me. And I'm writing down everyone's name on the full moon candle that I, I hope you know that I really, I really put feeling into this and I really put uh, energy into it. So it's, um, it really, it tickles my heart. Thank you. Also, um, what else did I want to mention? Oh, just, uh, just a little preview. I'm, uh, if you're new, welcome. Uh, I'm doing a channeling video today, but I have a lot of Mancy's in my basket. So if you, you're new, welcome and enjoy. And I really, the point of this video is that it gets to the right person because it needs to. So I want to start with um, this person, Justin Towns Earl. He, the name came to me, just Justin, a while ago. And it was just the name that was hitting me. And I thought, I don't really know anybody named Justin. I know I don't think I wrote anybody's name on the candle. So there's, it just was persistent and I couldn't figure it out. There's a YouTuber, his name is Justin Michael, who does tarot, actually he just does cards. And he's a, he's a friend and I checked in on him and he was okay. Anyway, Steve Earl shows up on my feed a few days ago and it was a tribute to his son, Justin Towns Earl. And I thought, hmm. I like Steve Earl. And I, I put the video on and I'm like, I gotta look up this kid. I gotta look up his name because it was a tribute because he died in August. So I look, pulled him up and uh, he was singing a song or whatever it was. I've never heard of him before. And uh, I saw him and I thought, oh shit, I know this kid. I know this kid from somewhere. And it hit me like a brick. This was the Justin who was trying to get a hold of me. I can smell him. I could smell him and I, I felt like I knew him. I felt like maybe he was one of my patients, um, you know, or, you know, my ex-husband used to, was in a band, maybe we crossed paths at some point, but I just knew I knew him. So I thought, okay, you, you need to get a message out there, but I'm not just going to sit down and do it. So I give it time. I give it a few days. I, I ask for signs. I ask for, um, is it okay? Is it the right time? And uh, man, I got smacked with a baseball bat last night. I mean, yesterday I had a headache all day in the back of my head, which was weird. And I thought, you know, it might be time to, to do this. I wanted to do it yesterday, but I just couldn't get it together. So about 2.42 this morning, I get like smacked with a baseball bat. I heard a bat cracking against a ball. So I don't really know what that means, but it's time to start writing stuff down. So um, I started writing in my bedside journal there, um, things that sort of came to me. I said, okay, Justin, if this is you, let's have a chat. So really, it was really pretty amazing. If I, I asked him to step forward so we can talk about what we're gonna say, he appeared as this giant, long, 
tall white light, no physical form, just a giant tall white light with arms that stretch um, unbelievably long, huge, long, long, long arms that stretched out and around, but they never met in the middle. They never touched. They just wrapped around. The one on the left was had this um, gold, yellow gold cord running through it, but the one on the right didn't. So that, I'm not sure what that means. He smells sweet. You guys know I have synesthesia and I kind of incorporated into all this stuff. Uh, he smells sweet like sugars, like um, almost like when a diabetic is losing ketones and their breath has got a, a sweet smell to it. I don't know if he was a diabetic or not, but I know he was an addict and I know that's how he died. I also want to say, um, I don't know if he fell back. So these are all things, these are all old messages that I got. Actually shows up like, and I'm showing my age here, a slide projector. Okay, so on a, if you know, before, way before the internet, the slide projector has all these little pictures in it and you put it in the, the cassette in the thing and each picture you can, you pull it up and it shows up. So these were all little slides that he was showing me in this middle of the night hour. I almost ran down and did this in the middle of the night looking all scrappy. Um, he showed me that like the back, it either spirit left, which is what I really believe happened, spirit left from the back of his head or he fell back when he transitioned. And it was so fast that he was just kind of standing over it and his physical form and didn't even know what kind of happened. It was so quick, but it left through the back or he hit his head when he fell down. I don't think he fell forward. I'm gonna put Jibs down right now. Uh, my headache is gone now and I think that was uh, just something that he needed to relate to, to put out there uh, to let them know, his family or whoever sees this, that it, was, it happened so quickly. It was very, very tall, very, very tall. Smart as a friggin' whip. Also, as he's coming in more and more now, I want to say um, it was really hard. It was really hard being here. I could totally smell him um, being on this earth and being as brilliant as you are it and people not getting it just understanding him nobody understood him I don't know a lot of his songs but the ones I picked up on are really really good see he's gonna start crying again no um, Okay, so I want to pull some cards from the Metatron deck. I actually started using it a little more recently, and I used it on the full moon candle because this is what he smells like. I mean, he just smells. If, you, if anybody has synesthesia out there and they can taste color, this is, this is what he tastes like. And this deck is is like my dessert deck. This is the deck for the the sweet messages, the the desserts, the topping. Okay, so I want to pull a card from here, but I also um, need to mention this very very clearly. And I've actually gotten in arguments about this with other healthcare professionals, with my ex-husband, because they don't believe it's true. Most overdoses are accidental. And this was an accident. Okay? This was an accident. We don't go out and 
get drugs to die. You get them to get high. And he fell in an accident. He actually died on August 20th, 2020. And that day, numerologically, was the Eight of Cups. So walking away emotionally. Also, uh, he gave me uh, a date, which was weird. I never had that before, and it was 8-14-20. So that means something to him, to whoever also. I looked at my notes from the 14th of August, and I don't really find anything that is, um, that is relatable. When I pull cards in the morning, I write everything down. But on the 20th, the moon was in Virgo, and the moon was in Virgo today, so I knew today I could do the video. Plus, Mercury Retrograde always brings me a lot of channeling stuff. So I'm going to pull a card from, from the Metatron deck as a message from him to his family. Wow. Okay. Number one, it was too hard. Okay, that I don't need a card for. That That's a message. It was too hard. It's too hard to live here. It's sometimes, you know what? Shush. Okay, Justin, give me a card from the Metatron deck. I think Giblet smells the sweet stuff too. White. Purity and innocence. This is that, yeah, this is that white streak. You know what, did I mention? I don't know if I mentioned that that I was seeing these white streaks here and there in the, like the back of my, my peripheral vision. Purity and innocence. And that's actually an angel wing. His messages, this is another thing, if his wife ever sees this, um, his messages are written. You know how when people come and uh, visit us from the other side, they'll drop, they'll drop coins or it'll be a bird or there's signs. His sign is in the written word. It's written on a piece of paper and it actually might be dated the 14th of August and that paper just fell all by itself. So if she sees this, whatever, there's a piece of paper and it, it's handwritten and it's a message and it was dated the 14th of August. And it's a message to his wife and child. And it's about purity and innocence or it's a new song with lyrics in it that are very, very significant. It is on that date, that I know. If you need help, call. If you need help, there's a number you can call. I might just go ahead and look it up and uh, I have a list of references. You guys know I do a little work with uh, the Red Cross, their mental health division. Um, addictions you got to recognize it as a disease, number one, and when you do, you can usher people to help, okay? And it is, it's pretty crazy right now. So bring in that white light, purity and innocence. He didn't, cho he didn't choose his face. He chose him chose him and sometimes it's just too hard I want to put uh, I'm gonna get some some of his music on and I'll attach it to the description box because you got to listen to these words they're pretty amazing so I'm gonna ask him to step back and if there's anything else um, he will get back to me that I know for sure okay so thank you, you guys. Thank you for indulging me and 
spread this out to whoever needs it. Um, he's, he's at peace. He's really at peace. So somebody needed to hear that. Take care. Love you guys. Gonna do something with this dog. We're getting a ton of snow overnight, so I'm sure we'll have some vlogging fun in the snow tomorrow. Be well, take care. Mercury retrograde. Check the community messages every day, and I love you guys. Be well. Wear a mask. <laughs>